Hi everybody! I'm here for Radiant Child and Family Yoga with Berkshire Yoga Dance Fitness. My name is Julie and I'm really excited to be here. I hope uh, that you're doing well and your family is healthy and um, you're, you're staying safe during these days in the spring of 2020. So if you are tuning in, um, please let me know if my <laughs> phone is in the correct orientation because um, you know we're, we're, we're all learning all of this technology and last time I taught a full class and I was sideways so <laughs> um, if you could just give me a little uh, comment to make sure my audio and my visual is good I will be on my way to get on my mat to begin our class so so this class, Radiant Child and Family Yoga, is for all ages, all bodies, all levels. Um, it's really open to young, young children as well as, um, as all the way through the lifespan uh, up through the elderly. So it's for everyone and I think that we can all have fun together doing this type of uh, yoga activity movement so um, great I appreciate that comment hi Amy um, and let's see so you're gonna want to get a mat probably a blanket um, I am actually solo today so I'm gonna be uh, guiding this radiant child and family yoga class without my family they are out adventuring um, on bikes or doing something like that, and, and that's totally fine, totally fine, right? So taking the path of least resistance as a mom, right? If, uh, if there's too much force, it just doesn't work out very well. So I'm just taking that path of least resistance as Abraham says, right, with the law of attraction. So going with the flow, feeling good in what is happening. And, um, and that's what Radiant Child Yoga is all about, actually. It's, it's a really wonderful um, practice of just finding that delight, that innocence, that creativity, and that, uh, that light within, and tuning into that, and just feeling really good, without efforting, without forcing, just letting it happen. All right, so um, I, think, I think it's about noon, so we're gonna get started. I'm going to get right onto my mat, and I'm kind of far away from you so you can see all the poses and movements. So we are going to start seated, as we normally do, and we are going to tune in. I am going to chant Om Namo Gurudev Namo three times, as in the tradition of Kundalini Yoga and Radiant Child Yoga, to tune in to the wisdom within. We all have wisdom. We all have teachers within us that light, that knowing, that intelligence, and that intuition. We're gonna tune into that. We're also gonna tune into all the teachers in our life, no matter how close we are to them or how distant we might feel. We're gonna tune into all that energy, all that wisdom with the second round of chants. And the third round of chant, chants, we are going to tune into the wisdom of yoga. Yoga is a practice that has been around for over 5,000 years, and there's a lot of um, amazing energy that comes from the practice of yoga, and we're gonna tune into that, all right? So get into a nice, comfortable seat, whatever that may look like for you. Please make yourself comfortable and e at ease during class. So we're gonna rub our palms together. Feeling the heat that is being generated in the palms. And then bring the palms together into the heart center. Lift nice and tall from the base of the spine all the way up through the crown, relax your shoulders. Let's take a letting go breath in through the nose, out through the mouth to get started clearing the space. And here we go, breathing in. Breathe 
and you might be feeling a little bit more settled and centered. We are going to warm up today, all right? Every radiant child that's out there with me, we are going to breathe together. I don't know about you, but I could use some big breaths and some just some space created within me and around me. So we are going to do some breathing exercises that I really hope that you're going to enjoy. And we're going to listen to a little tune as we do it. So we're going to stand up on our mats and we're just going to bend our knees. And there's something that I know my children love, and most children just love to do this, swing on some swings, right? And so we're gonna breathe in, we're gonna bring our arms out in front, and we're gonna breathe out. We're gonna breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And that's our first breathing exercise. And I'm just gonna play some music as we do this. Some feel good tunes. Here we go, ready? All right. So, bending your knees, we're going to do some swinging breaths. We're going to breathe in. We're going to do this for a little while. Have a nice little bounce in your knees. Get nice and loose through the arms. And let it be easy. Let it be easy. If it feels like it's getting hard, just make it easier.
we're going to get a little bit more into the body by doing a fun little song by Kira Willie. She is one of my go-to um, yoga uh, musicians for children. So uh, parents, you can look her up, Kira Willie, W-I-L-L-E-Y. She's fantastic. So we're going to do the shimmy. All right, so what does it mean to shimmy? Shimmy means to shake. We're going to do this seated, so you can come down onto your mat if you're not already. And to shimmy means to shake. So we're just going to shake. We're going to say shimmy, shimmy, high. And if you want to, you can even lift your legs. Shimmy, shimmy, high. And then shimmy, shimmy, low. Get really low. Low, 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 low. And then we're going to pretend that we're mixing up some good cookie batter. And we're going to do shimmy, shimmy, in the pot, nine days old. So this is a song. And we're going to go shimmy, shimmy, high. Shimmy, shimmy, low. And then go in the other direction. Shimmy, shimmy, in the pot, nine days old. And then the song is going to say, put your hands together. Clap it. And rub your hands, make some energy. Place your hands on your heart and deep breath in. And deep breath in. Good. And then the next part is you're gonna place your hands on your shoulders. And I think she says something like twister, twister. So this is when we get really long in the spine and we're gonna twist the spine, okay? Bring some fresh blood into the spinal column by breathing, all right? So lift those elbows up. And twister, twister, who's my little sister? There's my little brother, he's nine days old. All right, we do this a couple times. And then we're gonna lean back onto our hands, right? So our, we're leaning back onto our hands and we're gonna flip flop our feet. We're gonna stomp our feet, flip flop our feet, walking through the street, and we're gonna wave aloha to everyone we meet. And we're gonna use our foot to do that. We're gonna wave to each other, aloha. Aloha, like they say in Hawaii. And, um, and then we're gonna clap our hands again. We're gonna make some energy. And then after that, then we're going to reach for our toes. So we're gonna stretch up nice and tall, reach for our toes. And we're gonna bring them to our nose. Well, not really, but maybe. We're gonna bring one foot up and we're gonna cradle that leg with your arms. Okay, just like your shin was like the little brother that she's talking about in the song. And we're going to rock, 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 rock and breathe. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other side. And then we're going to bring the other leg up. So we're just warming up. So if this is impossible, if you're like, oh my goodness, Julie, I am not going to get my foot into my elbow. Hold on to your foot. That's totally fine. And we're just going to rock and we're going to breathe. Rock, rock. So I think that was the gist of the song. I might be missing a few lines here and there, but that's all right. All right, so let's start up nice and tall. And here's the shimmy. All right, ready? Shimmy, shimmy high, shimmy, shimmy low, shimmy, shimmy in the pot, nine days old. Shimmy, shimmy high, shimmy, shimmy low, shimmy, shimmy in the pot, nine days old. Shoulder, shoulders up. This is what I forgot. We're going to go around town. Ready? Shimmy warm up. So 
We're all going to bring our hands to our heart right now. Relax your shoulders. And actually, let's see what is not relaxed, okay? So we have our hands on our heart. Let's just kind of shrug, make some tension in your shoulders. Yeah, so that's not relaxed shoulders, right? That kind of feels tense in my neck too, in my face. So let's take a big breath in through our nose. And when we breathe out through the mouth, feel your shoulders drop and melt away from the ears. Ready? Close your eyes. And let your attention rest on the breath for three breaths. All right, everyone, here we go. Breathing in, breathing out. Can you bring some more air in this time? Breathing in, nice and deep. Shoulders stay relaxed, breathing out. Long breath in, long breath out. Beautiful, let your eyes open. I hope you're feeling great. I know I am being here with you and doing this, just, just us. This has been really fun so far. So, springtime is here, right? It might not feel like spring every day. We have glimpses of it here and there. So we are going to go ahead and just warm up, imagining that spring is blossoming because it really is in its own way, right? Slowly but surely. So I'm going to play some nature music. Ooh, we have a waterfall. We have a waterfall playing. So everybody, what I want you to do is come onto your feet, okay? And you are going to Hinge at your hips. Just reach your arms forward. Just like your spine is just like a waterfall. Plunging forward into a brook, a stream, a river. Take a nice long, deep breath in. Long, deep breath out. Let your breath flow just like water. Let's do it again. Breathing in and breathing out. <sighs> now, bend your knees slightly and just let your spine roll up. Imagine that the water was just dripping off of your arms and your fingertips and your head. Let your head be heavy. You are a waterfall slowly rising up. So we can imagine, I bet some of you have visited a waterfall lately, right? Yes, they're beautiful. Now bring your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale down. Bring your shoulders up to your ears and breathe them down. So we're nice and strong like a mountain. We're pressing down into the earth. And our waterfall is going to continue to grow tall. We're going to bring our arms all the way up. And you're going to press your hips forward. And you're going to open your heart. Imagine now the water is dripping from your fingertips down the front of your body into the earth. Let's take one more big breath. This is a slight back bend and we're calling a waterfall. Big breath in. Big breath out. Slowly come back up into mountain. This is tall mountain. From here, grab one wrist with your hand and just sway over to one direction, just like a tree sways in the spring breeze. Sometimes it's not so much of a breeze as it is wind, right? But trees are flexible. They're rooted into the soil. They have great big roots to keep them secure. And we can imagine we have those as well. And we're breathing in. And we're breathing out. Good. Coming all the way up nice and tall. Spread the arms wide. Let's do two.
two sudden breaths. Here we go, breathing in. Breathing the sun on this spring day, breathing out. Feels good, right? Let's do one more breathing in. And breathing out. Up in the sky, we might see some great big fluffy clouds, or maybe just really great big clouds that look like one big cloud. So spread your feet nice and wide apart. Turn your toes out, turn your knees out, and tuck your tailbone. Tuck that tail under. Yeah. And then from here, we're going to become a big cloud. We're going to bend the elbows, and we're just going to kind of sway over one direction, breathing out over the other. This can be challenging, can't it? We're really using the muscles in our legs, but you can do it. That's why you have muscles. Breathe through it. If your mind is saying, oh, I don't think so, breathe through it. We're only going to do one more to each direction, and this time we're going to become skinny, wispy clouds, reaching, and then reaching. Yeah. That was a short nature song. We're not quite ready to leave nature. And then bringing the arms up, and then bringing the arms down. What else do we see in nature? I'm sure you are, you are coming up with some amazing examples at home. What we're going to do is we're going to imagine that we're seeing the beautiful spring blossoms start to sprout from the earth, all right? So what we're going to do is you're going to sit down, your knees are apart, your feet are apart, and you're going to bring your hands in candle flame, and you're going to dive your hands down and then part your hands, place your hands underneath your knees, reaching out, and actually before this blossoms into a flower, we're getting into turtle pose or tortoise. Reach your fingertips away from the body and then tuck your chin into your chest so you are a turtle in its shell. Breathe in. I'm going to turn so you can see my body if you're curious on the exact position. And you're going to breathe in, poke your turtle head out of its shell. Look right and look left. And then exhale down. Inhale up. Look right. Look left. Slowly, what you're going to do now is we are going to blossom like a spring flower. Come all the way up. Bring your feet up. Your hands are underneath your legs now. And you can flex your feet or point your toes. I'm going to turn so you can see. And we're breathing deep. We're breathing deep. We're really tightening our tummy, lengthening our spine. Imagine what colors you have on your petals. How tall are you? How small are you? Where are you located? Close your eyes and imagine yourself. Now go ahead and close your petals up. And then blossom your bed. petals open. Good. Awesome. And then bring the soles of your feet together. With flowers comes insects, right? So just go ahead and flutter your butterfly wings. So place your hands on your toes and just let your knees flutter up and down. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. And then soon, as summer becomes, or spring becomes summer, we'll see more bees pollinating, right? So we're going to Relax the legs, just let them, let the soles of the feet be together, and we're going to do some buzzing breath. So bring your hands on your shoulders, and buzzing breath is exactly what you think it would be. It's taking a deep breath in through your nose and buzzing through the mouth. Ready? Take a deep breath in. 
your attention and your mind and your awareness rest in your breath. Excellent. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, little springtime journey that we took. We are going to go ahead and salute the sun before telling a small yoga story and then meditation and then everyone's favorite, relaxation. All right? So let's, um, what we'll do is we will come all the way up into standing because as we go out and we enjoy nature, one thing that we always love is the sun. So we're going to thank the sun. We're going to dance for the sun. This is another song by Kira Willie called Dance for the Sun. So what we're going to do is we come up towards the top of our mat, but before we do sun salutation, we're going to bring our arms way out and our feet apart, and we're, we are going to dance for the sun. We're going to go side to side. Yeah, and you can get a nice stretch side to side. It's kind of like balancing half moon. And I might tell you, okay, stop, and you're going to balance. You're going to really tighten your tummy. You're going to press down into your standing leg. So the song says, sun salutation, dance for the sun. So we're going to dance for the sun. You can spin, you can twirl. Twirl. And then the song says, I can do it. You can do it. I want you to point to me. And we're going to make a big sunshine. We can do the sun salutation. We do that a few times, okay? Then we're going to come up to the top of our mat and we're going to find mountain pose. So mountain pose is with our feet directly underneath our hips. We're going to stand tall and strong and long. And she's going to say, stretch up tall. We're going to breathe in, stretch up tall. We're going to breathe out. We're going to swan dive, thanking the sun for being here another day for us. We're going to tickle our toes. And then we're going to bend our knees and hop our feet back, just like this. And we're going to bring our belly to the ground in cobra, belly to the ground. And we're gonna inhale, look up to the sun, place our face in the sun, and we can do our hissing breath down. We're gonna tuck the toes under, and we're gonna lift up into downward facing dog, like an upside down letter V. And Kira is gonna tell us to breathe. So we're gonna pedal the feet, we're gonna breathe. And then we're going to bend our knees, look out between both hands, and we're going to hop up like a frog. And we're going to tickle our toes again. And then we're going to inhale. We're going to imagine we're placing the sun in the sky. And we're going to bring a candle flame down into our heart. So that's sun salutation. Let's do it with our song and have some fun, okay? Here we go. Salutation, dance for the sun. I can do it, you can do it, we can do the sun salutation. Keep dancing for the sun. Sun salutation, dance for the sun. Up, oh, pause, balance. Good job. Dance for the sun. Up, oh, balance. Good job. All right, let's go to the top of our mat. Here we go, ready? Stretch up tall, breathe in, hang down low, tickle your toes, feet jump back, belly on the ground, 
dog breathe. Maybe you jump up, just like a froggy. Hang down low. Stretch up tall. Feel your mountain, feel strong. Let's breathe, everybody, let's do it again. Hang down low. Feet jump back. Belly on the ground. Feel your cobra, ready? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Hang down low. Tickle those toes. Stretch up high. A few more dances for the sun. I feel it peeking out. It's starting to peek out. We're doing our sun dance. <laughs> Ready? I can do it. You can do it. We can do the sun salutation. And pause. Balance. Balance. You're so good. And balance. You can do it. We can do the sun salutation. Good job, everyone. Nice work. Let's see what is next. So I want everybody for our yoga story, before we move into our yoga story, is let's just take a break. If you need a drink of water, it's a really good idea. Stay hydrated. We always feel better when we have had enough water, right? We don't feel so good when we haven't had enough. So let's feel good together. This would be our time when we take our drink break, right? Radiant child yoga students. Yeah. All right, so let's just pause for a moment in our crisscross easy pose, crisscross yoga sauce, and just let our palms be up towards the sky. Let's take one letting go breath. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let go. Ready? <sighs> Open your eyes, and we are going to tell a story together. Now, if you are somebody who has gone to Crosby Elementary School, this is going to be familiar to you. This is the story of the kind leader and his dragon. All right, everyone, here we go. So once upon a time, there was a kind leader. Let's all sit up really tall like a king or a queen. Good. Now go ahead and just slouch. Just slouch. Round your spine, right? So do this. Yeah. So that's not really regal or royal or dignified, right? We want to sit up like a king or a queen on her or his throne. Yes. All right. So that's the kind leader. The kind leader lived in a beautiful castle guarded by his loyal dragon. So come onto your knees. And I'm gonna play our, our dragon music, all right? And come onto your knees. And this loyal dragon, what do you think, bring one leg out. What do you think dragons do to protect a castle? They blow fire, they breathe fire. So we're gonna breathe in, reach our arms up. Breathe out through your mouth, stick your tongue out. Good, again. Excellent, other leg. So the kind leader was very thankful for his loyal dragon. The next morning, the loyal dragon was out guarding the castle. And, lo and behold, there was a vicious beast that came into 
into the garden and into the castle grounds. Let's be a vicious beast together. Ready? We're going to stomp. Ah. We're going to gnash our jaw, gnash our teeth, just like those wild things in, in where the wild things are. And we're going to make really vicious claws. Ready? Ah. Anybody feel like doing this lately? Well, let's do it together. Ready? Ah. And the dragon being so loyal, we're going to do it standing this time. We're going to take a step forward and we're going to do our dragon breath. <sighs> Other leg. <sighs> Scorched the vicious beast. So the vicious beast went far away from the castle. The dragon was feeling very proud. So place your hands on your heart. Very proud. So the next morning, that loyal dragon was ready for anything. But there was a tiny little bunny rabbit. Let's all go down to the ground. A tiny little bunny rabbit. We're gonna do two different things for bunny, okay? Actually, three. I'm gonna teach you, just bring your peace fingers together for bunny rabbit ears, and we're gonna breathe in three times. And breathe out through your nose. bunny breath. The bunny was just hopping, minding his own business. All of a sudden he felt something looking at him, so he froze. We're going to go into bunny rabbit pose now, okay? So onto your knees. We're going to bring ourselves onto the forehead. Hold on to the backs of your feet, okay? And we're going to go onto the forehead, but then we're going to lift our head off the mat, tuck the chin to the chest, and come onto the top of our head and lift your bum away from your feet coming into bunny rabbit pose. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. So that bunny rabbit froze because being the good loyal dragon that the dragon was, everybody take a step forward, scorch, and the other one. So let's just do little bunny hops like this. And the dragon realized that he made a really big mistake. He was so upset. He curled into a ball. Everybody come to rock pose. He curled into a ball and he stayed there for a long time. He was crying. He was crying. Everybody take two big breaths. This time make out, make out a big sigh like you would at the end of a good cry for dragon. Ready? He got up and he was so sad. He was so sad. He just sat there. He sat there. And his friend, the kind leader, came out of the castle. And the kind leader said, Hello, dragon. I'm noticing that you made a mistake and you had an unmindful moment. Because what the dragon did was he overreacted, right? How many people have ever overreacted? <laughs> I think we all can raise many hands here, right? And so the dragon, because he was such a good protector, he was so loyal to the kind leader, he reacted when an innocent little bunny was just coming into the castle, into the castle grounds. He didn't have to scorch the bunny. The bunny wasn't doing anything to hurt him or to harm the kind leader. But he was just so automatic that he overreacted. So the kind leader said, my dear dragon, Everyone has unmindful moments sometimes. Even I have unmindful moments. Do you want to know the great secret of the ancient kind leaders? And Dragon went crazy. He was like bouncing all off the wall uh, at, at, 
outside of the castle because he was so excited he wanted to hear the ancient secret. Well, the kind leader, all the kind leader did was he just sat extra tall, relaxed his shoulders, and took a deep breath. The dragon said, I want to know. I want to know what the ancient secret is. And the kind leader again sat up tall and took a deep breath in. And he took a deep breath out. And dragon realized, being that he was such a smart dragon, he realized that the ancient secret of the great kind leaders was to breathe deeply and to stop and think before he blew fire on anybody, before he overreacted. So everybody, sit up nice and tall. Bring your palms on your lap. And we are gonna breathe just like the kind leader. We're gonna take three deep breaths, super big, super full, and super relaxed, okay? But you still have to sit up nice and tall like a king or queen. Here we go, breathing in. Fill everything up, everything up. Breathe out completely. Breathe in, fill everything up, everything up. Fill everything out. Good, last time through the nose, breathe in. Breathe out. So this story, these characters, the kind leader and the dragon, actually symbolize two parts of our brain. The kind leader represents our prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for planning and focusing and being careful. And then the dragon represents the amygdala. The amygdala is the part of our brain that helps us to stay safe and protects us. But we don't need to um, protect ourselves all the time because there is not danger most of the time. But it's really important that the dragon, you know, is there, right? And of course, there's not really a tiny dragon or a, uh, you know, the kind leader is, is a frog. There's no frog in your brain. But this is a nice story to remember. We want our kind leader to be in charge and to be the one that guides us. It's really good to have that dragon available when we really need it. But most of the time, we don't need it, okay? So before we do relaxation, we are gonna activate our kind leader by doing a meditation. And we're gonna bring our hands on our lap. And we're gonna bring the pointer finger and the, the thumb together. And we're gonna say, I, the tall man in the thumb, and we're gonna say am, and press am. Ring finger and thumb, so. Pinky finger and thumb, come. And we're gonna say it three times out loud, three times in a whisper, and three times in silence. And I want you to feel those phrases seeping into your body, your brain, your heart, your mind. Here we go. I am so calm. I am so calm. I am so calm.
relax. Very slowly, let yourself lie down for deep relaxation. You can cover yourself with a blanket, or maybe it's perfect just how you are. Let your body rest on the floor. Allowing your feet to flop out to both sides. Letting your arms spread to both sides. Let your head extend from your body. Feel your bones relaxing. Feel your muscles relaxing away from the bones. be here for one more minute. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> really gently rub your hands together and the soles of your feet. Awakening. And then do a little side stretch, a little, a little spinal twist, like a cat stretching in the sun. To each direction. And then slowly begin to sit up. In a crisscrossed position. Sitting up nice and tall, take a breath in, raise your shoulders to your ears. As you breathe out, let it all, all fall out. <sighs> Good. I hope that you feel great. I know I feel a lot better. It was like a, a reset for myself today. So thank you so much for joining me. We always end with a long time sun. Uh, so enjoy this and I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day ahead, and I will see you back really soon. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. And the
big breath in. to yourself, your heart, and the light that is within you and your heart. My light honors your light. Namaste, Satnam, be well. Thank you so much.